Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about setting out of simple circular curve by taking offsets from the long path. Before I tell you how we can set out the simple circular curve using long chord method, let me tell you what we mean by setting out of simple circular curve. Setting out the same like layout of a building, we have different from far curves like setting out, which actually means converting theoretical drawing to practically on the field. So as we all know that uh, for every project we have different drawings available. So all those drawings are the theoretical one but all those drawings should be converted on field. So that conversion is to be done with the help of the knowledge of surveying. So there are various ways through which we can do the setting out of a simple circular curve. So in this video I am going to discuss the method in which we are going to take offsets from the long chord. There is another method through which we can do the setting out which is by deflection angle method and that will be discussed in the next video. So let's discuss the method in which we are going to take the offsets from long chord. So whenever we are setting out a curve, the basic data for that curve is given to us includes deflection angle and radius of the curve. And most of the time we have been given with the stationing of point of intersection of the tangents. So let's say that this is the point where the back tangent and power tangent are crossing each other. We also be knowing the point where the curve is going to start, the point of commencement, PC. So joining them together we will be having the back tangent. Since the deflection angle is known to us, so using any instrument that can measure horizontal angle, we can mark the forward tangent deflection angle and radius of the curve is known to us. So then we can calculate the tangent length using this formula. So once the tangent length is being calculated, then we can mark the point of tangency, the point where the curve is going to end. Right now all the lines are the straight line. So to mark straight lines on field is not a difficult job to do, but to mark a curve line is difficult. That's why we are using this method by taking the offsets from the long curve since the radius is given so we can mark the center of the curve since the offsets are to be marked from the long curve so we should be marking the long curve which is actually the straight distance between pc and pt and the formula is so this will involve radius and deflection angle both we have and we can calculate the long curve then so mark the long curve now once we have marked the long chord, now we have to take the offsets from the long chord. The next thing that we are going to do is moving towards the mid of the long chord. So we know the total distance, dividing it by 2, we can move at exactly mid of the long chord. Now curve is to be marked on this side, so we have to take offsets from the long chord. Now the offset that is being marked at exactly mid of the long chord is familiar to us which is mid-ordinate. So we know the formula of the mid-ordinate. So once we calculate the mid-ordinate then we can mark the point on the curve. So once this distance is being calculated and taking the offset from the mid of the long chord we can have the midpoint on the curve. This is the point. Now we have the one formula that can help us in marking the different points on the curve that will use the horizontal distance x from the midpoint of the long chord let's say we are x distance away from the mid of the long chord over here now in order to mark an offset on the curve we have the formula so offset at x distance can be calculated using this formula so this formula involves the radius of the curve which we know x distance that can be any distance taken from the bit of the long chord and O0 is actually the one which we have already calculated the mid ordinate. So using this equation we can calculate offset and that will be exactly on the curve and that will be OX offset. Now this is just in a one example let's say that we are marking multiple points on the curve. So let's say that we are marking first as x1 distance on the long chord let's say this is the point so in order to calculate the offset at this point we have then this formula here x1 will be used everything else is constant so then we can calculate o1 so let's say o1 is calculated up to here moving on for the next point which is x2 distance away from the mid 
this point so offset at that point can be calculated using this formula where the difference is only of the x2 so then we will be having O2 offset that will mark the point on the curve similarly O3 formula for the O3 x4 O4 and so on so now you can see there is exactly formation of the curve this is the curve that is being formed on the left hand side we can mirror these points on the right hand side by keeping the same x1 x2 x3 x4 and so on distances we can have the same curve on the right hand side like the one which is shown here now you can see by combining these black dots we can have the formation of the curve like the one which you can see here so this is how we can lay out a curve by using this method in which we are taking offsets from the long call now the accuracy of the curvature depends upon the points that we are taking more the points that will be taken on the long chord more the accuracy would be so this is all from this video i believe you have now got the concept that how we can set out a simple circular curve using the method by taking the offsets from the long chord in the next coming video we are going to discuss the another way through which we can set out the simple circular curve that is by deflection angle method so this is all from this video thank you for watching this video